What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this really, really cool shiny logo animation. We're not gonna use any templates. We're not gonna edit any pre-made things, you know, or projects that are made for us or download anything. We're gonna start completely from scratch. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. And if you wanna see more of these video editing tutorials every single week on the channel. So with that out of the way guys, let's go ahead and get started creating or shiny logo animation right after the intro. All right, guys, so right now, as you can see, we are in Vegas Pro 18, and there are basically two things that we need for this video. But of course, in your own intro and all that animation, you can just add in a lot more things, such as like lens flares, light leaks, all that, you know, to make your intro even better. This video is all about the animation part and just adding a little bit of a background to it. So there are two things that I have right here in my timeline, which is this background right here with some blue particles at the top and then some orange ones at the bottom, just to have some sort of like a contrast. And of course, my yellow big. GAH logo that I've been using for years actually. Before we're gonna actually start animating, we're gonna make sure everything is nice and in place. So the first thing that I would do is if I drag in my logo right here, it's a little bit too big. So in order to have maybe like add in some text underneath it and create like this glow on the text as well, you can just make this one smaller. So in order to not mess with like the event pan crop, we're gonna use the track motion just once just to make it a little bit smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the track motion icon right here, this white one next to the track. We're gonna make sure that sync cursor is off. Otherwise our cursor is gonna follow our timeline and it's gonna mess up the whole animation. So right now that we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our timeline and our cursor is at the very start. We're gonna make this as big as we actually want it to be. So let's say that our logo is going to be this size. That looks actually pretty solid. Right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first create a really, really quick zoom. Then we're gonna go to the track motion icon. We're gonna go at the very beginning and we're gonna make this guy really, really, really big. So I'm going to drag this one all the way across full screen, even bigger right now. So that is completely yellow, just like that. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna zoom in a little bit and we're gonna count one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven frames. Then we're gonna hit restore box, meaning that it's gonna be the original size again, but it's a little bit too big. So we're gonna move up a couple frames, or you can look at this little dot in your timeline. You will see that there is a keyframe. Then we're gonna go click on it. We're gonna click on this keyframe and we're gonna adjust the GAH logo to where the size needs to be just like that. All right, so if you play it back right now, if we're gonna add in, for example, a really, really quick fade in, just one second, just to make it start black, as you can see, like that. This is basically what the animation looks like. And of course, you can make it a lot faster by going to the track motion icon again. You wanna right click on your keyframe and for example, hit fast like that. So as you can see right now, that looks really, really tight. And now we can move on to the actual glow. So now that we have done that, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this transparent image. Now we're not going to duplicate like this entire track because everything will go along the animation and all that. We just need this clip. So then we're going to just right click right here. We're going to insert a new video track and we're going to hold left control and drag this one up. That's you know how you can copy it. Or what you can also do is you can just, for example, hit right click, hit copy and then paste it into a new video track. Of course, it needs to be the same size. So we're going to go to the track motion icon as well of that track above it and we're gonna just resize it just a little bit just until it's as equal as big as the one below it, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna start off with the animation. We're gonna make sure that we will have our tracks all lined up at the beginning, just like that. All right, so then I wanna have it a little bit, for example, like a second into it. So then we're gonna just move up just a couple frames to make it start like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna go to the event pen crop icon of the top layer. And then what we need to do is we need to make sure to mask or line and, you know, just uh, the glow. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on mask at the very bottom. Then we're going to pick this rectangle or square mask creation tool. And we're going to just draw a little box next to our frame. So now that we have this one right here, this is basically like the size of the glow that's going to go across your logo. So you can make this a lot, you know, wider if you want to like that. I'm just going to keep it nice and, you know, something like that. Now I'm going to also tilt this guy just a little bit, but you want to also make sure that it is always covering everything of your logo. So now what we need to do is I'm going to make sure everything is tilted in the perfect way. And then we're going to go and move up a couple keyframes. And then we're going to just drag this guy all the way across the frame. So now let's see what we created so far. 
But as you can see, we don't see anything yet because we didn't apply any effects on it that will make the glow appear and visible. So now what we need to do is it's actually pretty straightforward. We're going to go to the video effects tab. And right here, we have two options. We can, we can either put on some brightness and contrast to it, but I would actually prefer levels. So I'm going to scroll down until I see levels, which is right here. And then we're going to add in this brighten one on top of the part that we just masked. If I go ahead and scroll a little bit, as you can see, there is our animation frame by frame. So now, of course, you can also tweak what it looks like. So let's put our cursor, for example, at the middle where our glow is right here. And then what we can do is we can, for example, like mess with the input star to make it or like really, really glow. You can also mess with the output star to make it lighter. Uh, the input end, you can tweak that however you want it to be. And also with the gamma, like how light it's going to be. So I'm going to put the gamma up just a little bit just to make a little bit glow. But what's very cool is you can also apply in like different kind of LUT filters onto this part. So let's say that you want to go and have like a little bit, you know, a different tint of a color on your glow, or you can even add in a glow itself right here. But I'm just going to pick a LUT filter. Let's say I'm going to, for example, drag on number eight. As you can see, that adds in like this really, really subtle and gentle, you know, shiny look to it. So let's play it back. As you can see right now, this is what your animation will look like. Now, the thing is, if you want to have this faster, that's also possible and it's done in just a second. You want to go back to Event Pan Crop. And of course, like how close this keyframe is going to be to your beginning, the faster it's going to be. So if you want to have it twice as fast, you're going to put this one right here in the middle of this keyframe and that keyframe. So if you're going to drag this guy in the middle of it, this is what it will look like right now. As you can see, it's going twice as fast. And you can also just have it really, really fast if you move up this keyframe just a little more. As you can see, we have like this really, really quick glow to it. And of course, you can add in like all these sound effects. But this is basically how you can go ahead and create this animation and how, you know, how to make that glow. And if you want to go ahead and make it stand out a little more, you can just move with your arrow keys to browse through the timeline. So then you can also apply different filters on it. For example, another love filter to make that one really, really shiny or basically any other ones. For example, like the glow, if you put that one on top of it, as you can see, that looks really, really nice. And now we have some sort of like a glow in between or animation so as you can see this is the end result and it is not really really that complicated guys i'm gonna make the glow just a little little longer and i'm gonna also make it for example like a little wider that would look nice all right guys so as you can see right now this is basically the glow that's going on top of our logo it looks even better than the one i created for the intro as you guys can see because we have like this really nice glow to it you can even make that one you know a lot thicker if you want to that is so simple this guys this is how you create like this shiny logo animation it works on any logo that you have but it has to be transparent i want to point that out because if you're going to have like for example a black background you know onto your logo of course it's going to mask the entire image so that's the reason why i have like a nice shiny logo and that's because i have it on a transparent track loose from the background so guys that is basically how to animate your logos and how to create this shiny logo transition all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to create this really really cool shiny logo animation in vegas pro 18 creating completely from scratch so of course you can choose any kind of different background than you want to use uh, like different sound effects because you don't have to exactly copy what i did you can just load in your transparent png logo change out the background and just you know use some cinematic music and you can just use some like whoosh transitions or impact sound effects basically anything you like to make this intro or this logo reveal really really cool so that's it guys thanks a lot for the continued support and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video